moved to South Carolina because Sandy had picked up these good techniques from Philly. And when she moved to South Carolina, there were no line dancing there. Sandy looked around and she said, well, look, I need to form some line dancing. And so what Sandy did is she started teaching classes. She started training instructors. And I'm one of her instructors. And then she started certifying because she said, if you're going to be an instructor, you need to be certified because you need to know how to call the steps, how to do a call a dance. Because a lot of times, teaching dance is not the same as learning a dance. <laughs> and you need to know how to teach a dance. So all of Sandy's that came under Sandy, we are all certified soul line dance instructors. So she gave the first certification in South Carolina, Sandy Thompson. And then she decided that she wanted to have some other things. So the first thing we would do were first Fridays. The first Friday of every month, we would have a line dance. We would all get together. A lot of you here would come with us. Then she said, you know what? There's so many people out there. Let's, let's I'll do a, a larger venue. And we came up with this red ball. And we're just so glad that all of you guys are here with us. So because we... Sandy was living in South Carolina. We have a showcase of everyone in South Carolina are going to showcase another one of Sandy's dances. So now with everyone from South Carolina, come on the stage. Now Sandy Ford choreographed this dance and the dance is called So Blessed. And we thought it was appropriate because South Carolina was so blessed when Sandy came and started creating DJ. I'm so glad. 